look at our local weather now. Amber, we were looking at your live shot. It is so foggy out there. Yeah, really foggy right now. You can see it right there. Oh, it looks like they changed the camera. Uh, but we're looking at some really dense fog, especially for some of our beach communities. So from the beaches, it has moved inland to areas like downtown LA, but hasn't quite made its way to our foothill community. So we're still dealing with some clear skies here. But check out our visibility right now with our next weather uh, graphics. We are looking at visibility down to less than a mile, half a mile to be exact for Oxnard and for Camarillo. Rio, less than a quarter mile for the LAX area, half a mile for Carson, and then just under two miles for Long Beach and also for the Santa Ana area. Laguna Beach right now looking at visibility down to two and a half miles. So really foggy conditions. That's why a dense fog advisory has been issued until about 9 a.m. And what that means is we are looking at visibility at times could get as low as a quarter mile or less. So use those low beams, dry really, drive really slow if you're headed to the coast. Otherwise, as we head toward the afternoon, it's going to be kind of like what we saw over the weekend some really hot temperatures again, especially over the valleys and also our mountain communities. And what's happening and the reason why we're seeing so much fog near the coast is because of this high pressure system as it continues to really cook our inland communities. All that hot air is going to push away that low clouds and fog and keep it to the coast because the coast has the ocean and they have that cooler air. So that's why it looks like we're looking at really foggy conditions for a lot of our beaches until later on uh, this afternoon. Otherwise, the good news is that finally tomorrow that widespread cooling begins. But here's Here's a look at our next weather hour by hour forecast. So we do have the foggy conditions later this morning. The clouds will begin to clear. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds once we head toward the afternoon. And then we're looking at highs today climbing up into the mid to upper 80s, depending on where you live. And then for the Riverside area, we're also looking at some clouds in some spots. But then by the time we head into the afternoon, we're looking at a mixture of the sun and clouds as well but more sunshine than clouds. But we're looking at temperatures for the Riverside area in the upper 90s. So some Inland Empire communities could see upper 90s, low 100s, while some of our valleys are looking at some even hotter conditions like the San Fernando Valley, talking about those triple digit conditions. So high pressure has been the dominant feature here in Southern California for the last few days. By the time we head toward the end of the week, we're finally going to start to see this high pressure system get pushed off to the east a little bit more. As a low pressure system from off the coast, you could see by the end of the week really starts to push in. So this is what's going to bring us our fall like conditions as we head into this upcoming weekend. This is something that we've been waiting for and I think we're just going to we're really going to like it. So our Inland Empire communities we're looking at upper 90s low 100s today and then by tomorrow we're looking at mid 90s and we'll continue to see those temperatures drop little by little as we head into the rest of the week until we get into the weekend where we finally get out of the 90s and into the high 80s. So that's when we start to feel the fall like conditions uh, for the Inland Empire valleys. One 105 today with a 10 degree drop as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we continue to see those temperatures slowly get down into the low 90s as we head toward this upcoming weekend. For LA and Orange County, we're looking at mid 80s through tomorrow. And then we're looking at, we're still going to be dealing with more of the low clouds and fog, the patchy fog each morning. By the time we head into the weekend, we're looking at those temperatures dropping to below average into the low 80s. So look at just how foggy it is. This is the reason why we had that dense fog advisory this morning. It's going to last with us till about 9 a.m. You can barely make Make out our downtown LA camera. Usually you could see all the buildings off in the background. We could only just see some of the lights and then you can see uh, we're looking at the 10 freeway right there. All right, so temperatures this morning because of the clouds are a little bit more mild, but let's talk about our next weather visibility. We are down to less than a mile for Oxnard for Camarillo and then all the way down as you head toward Laguna Beach, you can see down to a mile. So it is really thick this morning. Give yourself some extra time. Drive slow. Use those low beams. This is our next weather what we're watching. So as I mentioned, the dense fog is looks like it's going to stick around for the rest of the morning. It's going to expire at 9 a.m. We'll start to see the clouds gradually clear, especially inland, but unfortunately some of our beach communities may struggle to clear today. And that's because we are looking at another day of very hot temperatures inland, especially over the valleys and our mountains. But by tomorrow, that's the, when we really start to feel the difference. So widespread cooling begins on Tuesday and it will continue for the rest of the week. So this is the reason why we're looking at that marine influence right along the coast. Remember, we have a high pressure system sitting inland. The land heats up faster than uh, the ocean. So a lot of our inland communities will really warm up 90s, triple digits, low triple digits. That is for the valleys. We'll have 80s for the mountains. So as we are looking at this strong but shallow marine influence, a lot of the clouds will stay closer to the coast. Again, some of it will clear uh, that have moved inland really fast this morning. However, it's going to take some time for some of the coastal communities to clear because the fog, the marine layer is doing its job trying to keep our coastal communities nice and cool because of all that hot air that we have 
have inland and because we have the ocean waters. So that's what's happening right now. So unfortunately, some of the beaches may not see some clearing at all, kind of like what we saw over the weekend. Our next weather hour by hour forecast shows that we're going to continue to see the clouds stick around later this morning. We finally start to see the clouds clear. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds as we head toward the afternoon for downtown LA with temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 80s. For Riverside, it's still going to be a hot one, especially as we head into the second half of the day. We're looking at temperatures topping out in the high 90s today and then some other Inland Empire communities could see some low 100s. So that's something that we're watching. Our next weather high resolution future cast shows that by about 830 this morning, a lot of the clouds inland begin to peel back, but we're still dealing with the clouds sitting over a lot of our beach communities, the west side, the south bay, and then also parts of inland Orange County. And then once we do start to see the clouds clear again, it's going to be uh, still kind of foggy for a lot of our beaches, but we will see some pockets of clearing, but a lot of that marine layer will still stay off the coast and then surge back in as we head into the overnight hours. All right, seven day forecast for the Inland Empire upper 90s today. Then you can see each day we begin to drop little by little until we get to the upper 80s as we head into this upcoming weekend.